Hi, this is Peter from Tenderfoot Electronics, and this is Faf. FAF is a multi-mode VCFA, that is a voltage-controlled filter combined with a voltage-controlled amplifier, and it has five available filter functions. The available filter modes are a 4-pole low-pass, a 2-pole low-pass, a 2-pole high-pass, a 2-pole band-pass, and finally a phaser mode. Quickly looking over the controls on the panel, the dial at the top is your frequency cutoff dial. Below this and to the right is the resonance dial. The big rotary switch in the middle is the mode switch. Below this and to the left is the low pass boost switch to uh, bring back some of the lower frequencies that are lost when turning up the resonance. The gain dial to the right sets the initial level of the VCA. So this one here. And below this, we have the attenuators and CV input jacks for the frequency control, resonance, and gain. And on the bottom row, we have an additional frequency control which tracks one volt per octave and then the signal input and the signal output. To start off, we'll look at the gain dial as this is an easily overlooked feature that could cause some concern if you come to use the module and find you have no output. Turned all the way off, there'll be no output at all. Unity gain comes in at around the midpoint of the dial. And everything to the right of this is positive gain, amplifying the input signal. Um, on the back of the module is a jumper to select whether you wish to add diode clipping to this positive gain for some nice overdriven sounds, or deactivate this to allow you to amplify the signal further towards the power rails. Uh, for now, we have the diode clipping activated. So next, I'm going to do some filter sweeps in the various modes and I'll add a bit of resonance each time to show how it sounds. So this is the four pole low pass. Add a bit of resonance. And some more. And then really high. And let's turn the key up some overdrive. Next, we'll do the two pole low pass. with the low pass boost on so you can hear the effect. So next up is the 
two pole high pass. And let's add some resonance to that. And more. And the band pass. And finally, the phaser. So now I'll patch up the frequency CV jack and add an envelope to control the cutoff. The top frequency jack is normal to the gain jack, so you can use one envelope to control both. Uh, so if we now turn off the main gain control, so turn it all the way down, and we use the gain CV attenuator to add some of that envelope in. And you can hear how that sounds. And again, turning the gain CV attenuator up further leads us into the overdriven sounds. So let's add some resonance. Another feature of FAF is that it can self-oscillate when the resonance is turned up. Combined with the ability of the second frequency input jack to track one volt per octave and the VCA, it can be used as a pretty capable VCO or synth voice. Uh, the gain control and various filter modes allow you to sculpt the sound for different tones. So here we have it self-oscillating. Let's just turn off the echo. And you can hear that changing to the different filter modes gives you a different tone. Now let's patch in a sequence from the QQ2 into the second frequency input.
So here we're patching a quantizer channel from the QQ2 into the second frequency input. Let's just get a little uh, sequence going. There we go. And now let's add an envelope from the OMFG function generator into the gain CV input. So we'll turn down the main gain control and now just using the attenuator, we can add that envelope in. And let's just try the different tones. Again, we can overdrive it by turning the attenuator up a bit more. Now you'll hear that the high pass and the phaser uh, change pitch slightly from the other filter modes, and that's just how the uh, how the resonance circuit works. Now if we take the envelope that's controlling the gain and patch it into the uh, the primary frequency, because these two inputs are normal, we can use the one envelope to affect the gain and also the frequency to create kind of bongo sounds. Now that pretty much sums up the module. Uh, they're available now from dealers and from the Tenderfoot Electronics website. So go check out the various places you can get hold of one on our website at www.tenderfootelectronics.com. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. Goodbye.